If you're among the many people who work remotely, you might already know that your workplace safety risks can be hard to spot, but very real. Things like electrical hazards and improper ergonomics, online meetings, and isolation. The hazards look different when you work off-site, and so do the safety measures. So, it's essential to take a few minutes to assess and improve our remote workspaces for the sake of our mental, physical, and emotional health. While this isn't an exhaustive guide to remote work safety, we have a few ways to help you get started. Start with an assessment of your workspace and think like a facilities manager. Are your walkways clear? Are your exits unobstructed? Are you using surge protectors? Keep in mind that in remote workspaces, you should ask yourself unique questions like, is Roscoe's water bowl a slip and fall hazard? Is my printer daringly close to my coffee maker? While you assess the specifics of your surroundings, take a minute to consider the overall space you've chosen too. If at all possible, set up your workspace in a spot that can be dedicated to your work. In other words, not your kitchen table. This gives you more control over things like cords and clutter, and it means you can more successfully walk away from work, mentally and physically, when you're done for the day. If you work on the go or in coffee shops, pay attention to the things you can control, lighting, noise, or even distractions that can unknowingly zap your productivity and mood. A true assessment of your working space is a great tool for making sure it's healthy and sustainable. Now that you've noticed a few general things about your workspace, turn next to your desk setup and maintenance. Poor ergonomics are one of the leading causes of remote work injuries. It turns out that long days tapping away on a keyboard and zooming into meetings can do a number on the body. And now that you're doing this thing permanently, it's time to get serious about your hands, wrists, hips, and more. Even on a budget, there are simple ways you can improve your eye line, posture, and lighting. And once you have a good setup, don't skimp on stretching and hydrating, and even standing for parts of your day if possible. It's easy to overlook housekeeping when you're working remotely. It's the last thing you want to do at the end of the day. But having a space that's cluttered and dirty isn't just a safety hazard. It's a hazard for your mental health, too. If need be, set aside 30 minutes once a month to tend to stacks of papers, wayward cords, dust bunnies, and snack leftovers. Though we do recommend eating away from your desk. While a good setup and good housekeeping are the start of a healthy remote work environment, some of the biggest challenges remote workers face are less tangible. These are things like motivation for the job and connection to coworkers. We used to see our coworkers and the value of our own contributions to the team on a regular basis. Now, it might be weeks or longer between those mental boosts. So consider ways to create a healthy mindset for work. That can mean both connecting with coworkers and supervisors and disconnecting in your off hours. To connect well, start with some regular at work and after work plans to see your coworkers in person and actually put them on the calendar. Make sure to schedule check-ins and performance reviews with your supervisor too. Participate in meetings, whether they're remote or in person. Even if you're out of practice, you'll be glad you did. And then disconnect intentionally too. Take breaks throughout the day, take a real lunch, and turn off at night, no matter how convenient your workspace is. Overall, make sure your day still has structure that includes exercise, time with family and friends, and time away from electronics. Don't hesitate to speak up if you're struggling with your outlook. Many workers are finding new challenges in the isolation that can come with working remotely, so you're not alone. Connecting and disconnecting safeguards can help prevent anxiety and depression and make work more fulfilling wherever your office might be.